If you have eight years and you want to increase your earning, then you need to use this cheaper traffic method, which I'm going to be sharing on this video, which is called interstitial ad. Interstitial ad is similar with native ad traffic, the same quality and the same value. But interstitial ad is quite cheap. We are going to be buying interstitial traffic from Propeller, which we are going to be buying more than 200 clicks for 0 0.8 cent. And you know what it means? Once we convert the traffic 200 people, People, convert them with next button we can easily make more than 10 to 15 dollar per each 0 0.8 cent traffic we are going to buy so if it's the first time coming across to my video uh, my name is springs i teach about practical xeo and google ads and arbitrage and also seo in general so make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell if you have not done that and help me to smash the like button on this video to help youtube to promote my video again for those of you who are using google adsense uh, we have a good news google Google AdSense is going to be moving from CPC to CPM. That means people don't need to click on your ad before you end. By people seeing your camp, your ad display, you're going to be earning. Let's say for example, Google AdSense is trying to work like ADS. ADS pay by impression. The same thing Google AdSense is trying to do. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Whatever uh, you're using, be it Google AdSense or ADS, is still going to be valuable to you. Uh, watch to the end. Before I show you guys how to create interstitial campaign let's talk about the niche that is going to work it's very very important to find a niche that is going to work for interstitia so it's not every niche that is going to work for interstitia ad format so pay attention one of the niche that is going to work which i'm going to give out free for you you can do your research to find more niche so i found this niche which is relationship anything relationship uh content is going to work for interstitia ad using it to increase your ads earning and for those of you who have google adsense google is going to move to ECPM or CPM which is going to be paying you by impression is not most people are going to click on your ads before you end once people see your ads then you have end automatically so if you look very closely here this young man is using relationship uh, content to run arbitrage and I've analyzed this relationship content is really really working people are really smashing it and if you are using ADS this is the best content to go for right now for those of of you have a premium tools which i have already discussed in my video and drop a url i'm going to drop a url go there and sign up and get some premium tools to do more research then you're going to find more niche for yourself but the one i can recommend strongly when you want to run interstitial campaign is relationship so make sure you have the next plugin to utilize your what your traffic so we are going to be buying more than 20 click with interstitial campaign for 0 0.8 cent and convert that 0 0.8 cent to ten dollar or fifteen dollar depending your ecpm so pay attention this video is going to help you so i decided to share the one of the niche that i can easily recommend if you want to start interstitial campaign very fast and interstitial campaign ad format is quite cheap more than native ad and also not only cheap but the same quality traffic with native traffic so let's go to the section of creating the interstitial campaign okay so we are going to be creating the interstitial campaign so you need to pay attention because i'm going to deploy different strategy so you will not lose your money and do it properly without losing any cobo so you're going to end your return on investment very high so to do that what we need to do is to click the create campaign which is the normal thing but we're talking about creating an interstitial campaign so i'm going to go straight and choose interstitial campaign so in this case we're not going to be choosing cpm because interstitial ad from propeller uh, is very cheap okay now what i'm going to be choosing is cpc so we are going to be paying based on cpc which is going to be profitable i said earlier we can buy 200 click for 0 0.8 eight cents and you know what it means if you are using next button on your adx website is going to convert a big amount of money at least eight cent should be giving you approximately ten to six to ten dollar or fifteen dollar depending your ecpm or the company you are working with in terms of adx so um if i'm coming here i'm going to put the targeted url so i'm going to put my targeted url i'm going to pretend that I'm the owner of this website. So I'm going to put my URL direct. So I will not, um, I will make this campaign to be more um, 
optimize and look uh, very simple so when you are going to be doing your own it's not going to be stressful so i'm going to put it the url just said i own this landing page uh, allow you to pick the country that click on your url because we're going to be choosing two country per campaign okay uh, i have reason for that uh, best known to me okay since this is interstitia and we are paying by cpc i think we can choose two country that's what i want to do so you decide to do whatever you do on your own ending but if you follow this strategy believe me you're going to make a lot of money using interstitia to increase your ads earning without losing any money at all so what i'm going to be doing is to sit the country so when it comes to relationship every country is is interested to know how to take care of their relationship how to do blah 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 or how to maintain their marriages or whatever or, you know couples anything within love relationship any content within relationship is going to work for interstitia so pay attention so i'm going to be choosing south africa sorry i'm going to be choosing south africa in South Africa, the CPC, I'm going to be paying 0 0.003. So if you want the campaign to perform very well, I'm going to be putting in 0 0.04. You can, more you bid high, this is something I want to let you know, more your bidding is very high, more you're going to get a lot of conversion. In my own case, this is, this, this, since the traffic is quite cheap, I can go with 0 0.005 so I'm going to go with 0 0.005 or 0 0.04 anyone is good now the next thing I'm going to do again uh, I think uh, you can go with two countries so let me choose Nigeria again this is another country that I interested in fact all the whole countries in the world are interested about relationship okay all of them are interested about relationship content that is going to help within relationship but for this case i think i'll go with one country okay so i don't want them to cheat me because if i close this let me close this remove this and put nigeria i know how much they are paying per click sorry i decided to do it before you see they are charging low for nigeria okay they are charging very low so it's going to be cheating if i put two uh, country at the same time so i would advise you to run uh, per campaign one country the same advice i keep on giving but you can easily choose two country per each campaign but they may end up cheating you and give you uh, the same cpc so if you as if usa cpc per one click is 0 0.02 and you choose canada which is below that uh, in this section of our country, I think they are going to cheat you in that aspect. So I would advise you to choose one campaign, one country. So I'm going to choose South Africa on this first. Create a first campaign with South Africa and launch my campaign. And then uh, I'm going to create another one for another country, different, different one. Now what I'm going to be doing, you can do a uh, smart optimization. You can do smart optimization if you come here. Uh, let me pause this thing and do it properly and show you guys what I did okay so please 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 don't choose the auto uh, optimization which means you're going to be paying you said I want to be paying for one conversion you put for example you're going to be paying eight dollar for one conversion don't use smart don't use smart optimization just off it please I'm sorry for giving that narrative. So a day we want to spend approximately fifty dollar. That's what we want to spend. The total budget of the campaign, depending how much you fund on your campaign, you can put it two hundred dollar. That's what we're going to be putting. That means a daily we're going to be spending fifty dollar, which is not possible. Remember what I said earlier. If we are buying a uh, per one click of South African click for zero point zero four let's go to the calculator so i'm going to show you guys what i mean by that now if we are going to be buying click because the only time they're going to charge us is when we uh when users click on our campaign that's when they're going to charge us that's what the cpc model mean mean sorry for example so if we are going to be paying 0 0.004 per one click times uh 200 clicks for example as you can see 
we are having we are going to be paying eight cents for 200 clicks so imagine out of that 200 clicks you write 16 ways to attract a girl you love or 17 ways to make a girl to fall in love like relationship content and you're using the next plugin so imagine what is going to be happening now if um 200 people out of the 200 people that click uh out of the 200 100 decided to uh, click the next button to the end which is times 100 times uh 12 ways to maintain a relationship a healthy relationship that means we have used almost eight cents to get almost 1200 impression and remember ads is paying by ecpm impression so for those who are go who are using google adsense this can work but not now i advise you to wait till google move to their cpm because they are planning to move to cpm they want to stop paying by click so users don't need to click on your ad before you end they can easily see your campaign google will pay you for impression so if we go back here, I'm going to be optimizing this campaign to the end. So you need to pay attention because we are going to be customizing our creative that is going to attract people to click on our campaign. And remember again, we are working with CPC. We are not working with uh, CPM. So we are at gain. The only time we get charged from our campaign is when we uh, get click. And uh, what we're going to do with the platform, we want to choose mobile, we want only mobile traffic. So choose only mobile traffic. Mobile traffic are going to convert very, very well. Choose Android. The next operating system you need to choose uh, is uh, iOS, which is iPhones. Uh, another one we're going to choose Windows Phone. We only need these two phones that is really popular and they have a lot of traffic. If you choose Windows Phone, uh, not a lot of people are using Windows Phone, but you can still choose Windows Phone. I, it have been long I see people using Windows Phone. Exclude the version, don't exclude any version, let it be all version. So what you're going to do is to pick uh, the particular um, browser they are going to be coming from Android browser and going to choose Google Chrome. I'm going to choose uh, Apple Safari. That's the two device that I pick their browser. So from their browser, they can see our campaign. So the next thing we're going to choose is English because the campaign and the content is English and we're targeting English spoken country. So leave it to the traffic connection to come with any device. If they connect to 3G, 4G, 5G or MiFi or board bandwidth or whatever, they're going to uh, see your campaign. So proxy, we don't need no proxy traffic. We don't need proxy traffic. This is very, very much important you need to pay attention in optimization pay very closely attention because this is the final step uh, we're treating right now so you need to make sure you pay attention so you're not going to lose your money so when it comes to uh, this one which is rule based optimization you can leave this increase your ad performance by assigning auto optimization you know leave it don't do anything here this is a new new feature don't click anything what you're going to do collect users who click on my campaign this is very very much important what is going to happen is whenever you're going to be creating a campaign you don't need you don't need to okay you don't need to retarget again all you need to do once they collect the people who convert on your campaign the next thing you're going to do when you're going to be running campaign next time is to just pick that particular audience they collect for you and retarget them again and they will convert the type of content they really click when you run your interstitial ad so collect that's very very important just put it to collect now this is where the thing comes here um campaigns can do please i will not advise you to schedule your campaign allow the campaign to run all through day or through week depending on how you want to invest money on this now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the interstitial uh, ad formats we're going to be using. We have pricing, we have image, or uh, let me click it image. We have plastic, we have landing, we have uh, nomination, um, message, we have message on its own, but we're going with plastic. So, what I'm going to do is to input the title of our content we want to promote with interstitial make sure you use a, a a title that is going to attract click 
But aside from that, the only time you are going to be charged by your campaign is when people click on your campaign. But for you to get a good conversion, it's good you optimize what your title. That's what is going to increase your. And already, I've already uh, create an image that I'm going to use. So if you want to create image you're going to be using on your campaign, make sure you rhyme with what you are promoting. So what I'm going to do is to go to Fiverr, go to customize size, use 900 by 600 uh, pixel. I'm, I'm going to create it. So now I've already, uh, I have uh, a particular one that I've already created, okay? So you have to download image that really relates to what you are promoting. Let's give examples. This is six ways to attract a girl you love. Something, for example, like that. You can use image like this, or you use this particular image, this one, or you use any one related to what you are promoting, and then expand it to the size they really need, and upload it. Now, I will now advise you to work with only one creative. Make sure you create more than five creative or three creative. This will help to test different creative once your campaign is being launched. Propeller ads are going to test different creative. The one that is moving well, they will work with that one and still give you analysis that this is the one that is really working. So by that, I'm going to upload one of the creative that I've already done here. And I'm going to zoom out and crop it. Now this is it. Another thing I'm going to do is to add another... <coughs> uh, sorry. <coughs> another creative here i'm going to add another creative put the title i want make sure you change the title each creative should contain different title but the same topic okay now i'm going to upload an image again and another different image again so that's just it with the side frame that i work with remember the size frame now i'm going to upload it once you just upload let me just take it here and go to my download and go to this one that's the picture i want to use and then hit crop again now this is the two creative that i'm going to be using so you can make sure you add more creative make sure you add at least three creatives so once the campaign go live uh propeller are going to choose the perfect one that is converting if anyone that is converting propeller is going to take that one and leave the rest and also give you analysis back on the one that really work on your campaign so once you finish that creating your creative the last one is to accept and guarantee that your campaign really follow their guideline and then you start a campaign hit the start campaign and make sure you give your campaign a name for example depending on what you are promoting it can be particularly your name or anything you're going to remember with each uh, campaign and once you finish every other thing you just hit start what start campaign they're going to review it and approve it now the same thing process you are going to follow and create and target different country in different campaign and i promise you infestation ad is one of the best quality traffic ad that is going to be similar that is going to match with the strength of native ad and still going to increase your ads earning most times if you look at the calculation i did here uh we did a calculation of buying we are buying over let's say for example we are buying over 0 0.8 cents for just 200 people that is going to click on a campaign and later on 100 people or 120 people convert and 120 people uh open more than 15 ways to attract a gear you love using the next button that means you have gotten over 1800 people impression and this impression most uh ads are paying depending the country whether it's tier one or tier two depending on how the person uh, engage and their cookies that's very very much important again so you need to optimize your campaign and use this low budget ad using interstitial to increase your ads i think i'm going to end this video here if you have any other question the comment section is open and for consultation i'm also open for mentorship you can just hit me up i can mentor you on how to use this to make more money increasing your ads and for those who are who have uh, google adsense let's be waiting for google update to finish their updates to know if they are going to move to 
CPM because they promised that they're going to move out from CPC. See you guys in my next video. Peace.